Welcome back to All Fox Racing PC. Welcome back to round four. Um, welcome back to Suzuka, where everyone is still recovering from the mayhem that the last few laps of race one was. So everyone is just calming down a little bit and uh, making sure that race two, well, perhaps is going to be a bit less WTF. We continue to be with the we continue to be with the 1991 Formula One car. Very nice car in Automobilista 2 and in a very nicely modeled Suzuka circuit. Now Mark Elder, winner of race one, pole position in race one, pole position in race two, followed by Mike Stevens. It's an all orange and black front row. Darren Head and Simon Allen are on the second row. Third row, it's Diogo Silva and Christian Clark. Fourth row is Wayne Lewis and Kev Allen. Fifth row is David Good and Jorge Luna. And then we do have two drivers on the sixth row because Matt Coward has joined the group for the second race. He's sitting in 12th, but uh, the key is going to be consistency, not speed. So he should be able to finish ahead of that because we anticipate a couple of mistakes in this very high power and difficult to control car. Let's go track side and oh, Mark Elder is moving. Mark Elder was moving. I'm not sure if uh, this was a penalty or not. He retains the lead there head in second place. Mike, there head up into second. Oh, uh, uh, look at that. Mark Elder under pressure from there head. Nice start from there. <coughs> going ahead of Mike Stevens and in fact other drivers seem to be going ahead of Mike Stevens too and Christian Cla oh and something happened to Diogo Silva something happened to Diogo Silva he was not nine so we will uh, try to understand what or not happened here this might be might give us a good view of if there was any drama ahead of him which there wasn't everyone very civilized through turn one and uh, oh, and that was someone there. Uh, oh, a bit of contact there, a bit of pushing and shoving there. And uh, I'm not sure who that was. Might have been Cavallan or David Good or Wayne Lewis uh, or Christian Clark. Uh, it might have been Christian. Let's look at uh, well, Christian did an enormously good start um, and. Well, right up in the top five, he did hit uh, Diogo, and uh, that delayed Diogo a little bit. Oh, they just connected, didn't they? And uh, just bouncing off each other. And uh, Christian up into fifth place, sixth is uh, uh, Wade Lewis, seventh Caval, and let's go back to the race leader. As uh, Jorge Luna also had a problem. Jorge Luna also had a problem. We are going to investigate what this problem was, um, or was it just a bad start, maybe? Well, Luna had a problem in race one at the start, and uh, I think it was just a slow start by Luna. Uh, this time he did not spin, but also was uh, somewhat slow off the line, gets overtaken by a couple of drivers. Let's go back to the race leader now. And that's Mark Elder and Darren Head, so the battle continues right where it ended in race one. Um, right where it ended in race one. But Mark Elder already a second ahead of Darren Head. Nice opening lap by Mark. Doing very good driving there. Darren Head in second place. Trying to keep up with the leader. Third is Simon Allen. And then fourth is Mike Stevens and the pressure from Christian Clark. We'll keep an eye on this uh, battle. And so oh, Mike, uh, 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 Christian Clark has had a problem. Christian Clark has had a problem. I think at the exit of the happen, we're going to look at the replay of that using our uh, magic power. Oh no, that was. Was it? Uh, well, that's uh, that's that is Christian. Oh, he was trying to go on the inside of uh, Mike Stevens, and 
poor contact between the two drivers. And side by side racing, absolutely brilliant between Mike Stevens and Christian Clark. Oh, and then contact there, but uh, Christian is through. And uh, not only he is through, but also Kev Allen, who had an horrendous race. Oh, look at this. Look at this group. This is going to get spicy. That's Christian Clark, Kev Allen, Mike Stevens, Wayne Lewis, David Good, Diogo Silva. They're all bunched up there, so we can. Still in lap one, we can anticipate some spicy action there. As they look at this, they're all nose to tail. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, Kev Allen makes a mistake. Oh, and there's a crash. There's a big crash there. Big crash there. And someone is, uh, that's Wayne Lewis. When Lewis is in the middle of it. When Lewis is in the middle of it. And we'll see who triggered what, how. Through a full investigation on this crash. And I think it all started when Kev Allen was slow. That, that's Christian Clark at the head of all these drivers. Now Kev Allen, look at this, a bit of pushing and shoving. But uh, there goes Kev. Oh, and Kev, oh. And when was trying to avoid Kev ends up being uh, ends up in the barrier. Diego Silva up into sixth place. So let's look at this from the onboard because it seems that uh, he went through there. There, there it is, and uh, look at that. He's behind David Good, and there's the crash. And oh, look at that! And someone else was affected by this. It was Kev Allen. Kev Allen was also delayed by this crash. Uh, or was it? Or was it Luna? No, it was Mike Stevens. I'm sorry. The same liveries are really, really making it difficult to commentate on this race. Yes, it was Mike Stevens. Mike Stevens was hit by Wayne as Wayne was trying to avoid Kev Allen, who was coming back into the track. But look at this. Kev Allen is off. And bang! Mike Stevens, nowhere to go. Absolutely an innocent bystander of this crash and for a driver that has finished on the podium there is Wayne Lewis trying to reverse back into the track Wayne lets him through but they are now sitting 10th and 11 Matt Coward is at the tail of the pack but Mark Elder no such problems for him because he's opened a gap of almost two seconds in just one lap Mark Elder is absolutely dominating this uh, combo as Darren Head is second and is trying to keep uh, contact with uh, <coughs> um, with, um, with with Mark. Third is Simon Allen. Now up to fourth. Well, Christian Clark was already fourth in that uh, 1991 Minard delivery. Fifth is David Wood. Sixth is Diogo Silva. Seventh is Kev Allen. 8, Jorge Luna, 9th is uh, Fred Tennant, and then the drivers that tangle there, Mike Stevens and Wayne Lewis. Let's look for battles. And here's one, that is David Good and Diogo Silva, battle for 5th place. And Diogo is close enough, but maybe not close enough to make a move at the Shigai. We are at the end of lap 2, remember this race will have, if it all goes to plan, 13 laps. So we're still a long way to go. As other drivers battling includes Jorge Luna in 8th place. Well, he's, uh, well, Fred Tennant was closed, now has lost a bit of time. And Fred Tennant will have to contend with the recovering Mike Stevens and Wayne Lewis. There they are, 9th and 10th. 10th uh, and 11th, I'm sorry. Matt Coward is uh, turning very slow left. Something must be happening. He's done a 2 weight, which probably indicates not much practice in this combo or a mistake or a bit of both. Look at Mark Elder. Absolute domination. More than 2 seconds now. We're still on lap 3 and Mark is extremely consistent as uh, on board with Darren Head he finished second in race one is in second in race two Simon Allen was in a podium position in race one 
before getting stuck in the pit lane entry after making a mistake at the exit of the chicane. Now he's going to be hoping to not make such mistakes in race 2. Christian Clark in 4th place. David Good in 5th. Followed by Diogo Silva. There, that's the battle that we were watching. And actually Kev Allen is not far behind. Kev Allen in 7th can see both David and Diogo ahead of him. Then it's a six second gap to... Oh, and then someone, something happened to Kev Allen, surely. He was almost... Well, he was almost, well, seconds, milliseconds from disaster. As he's almost running offline there. Jorge Luda in uh, um, eight. And as expected, Fred Tennant was overtaken both by... Uh, Mike Stevens and by Wayne Lewis. So they are now ninth and tenth. So they shall be recovering. Next driver is Luna, and they are three seconds away from him. Lap four already of this race. Out of 13, gap at the front has decreased as uh, Darren Head has done a very good lap indeed. 138.5. They are the only two drivers on the 138 are the top two, 138.895 for Mark Elder, 138.535 for Darren Head. Everyone else is in the 39s and the 40s. And uh, something happened to Kev Allen, something happened to Kev Allen. We can see him dropping down the order. And this was, ooh, and this was more than, oh, as, well, 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 what on earth happened here? Because I could see Diogo Silva. Or, no, it was Mike Stevens. Well, let's look at this replay of what happened to Kev. And, ooh, he's, he's offline. Oh, a gravel trap. Never trap. Now he's in the tarmac, but he's back in the gravel trap. And he's going to get overtaken by Luna. And by the duet of... Oh, look at that. That was my own. Oh, Mike Stevens and... Oh. Mike Stevens and Wayne Lewis. They both went on the wrong side of Kev. Let's look at this from Wayne's perspective. They end up ahead of Kev, but through a somewhat, well, a very, a very strange racing line there for uh, both of them. So what, what happened here? Because they could see Kev coming back to the track, but somehow they decided to overtake him the difficult way. Oh, there they are. Kev was almost in the racing line. So they all now are in the gravel, putting enormous amounts of dust. They all come back more or less at the same. Oh, look at this nice done by uh, Wayne overtaking Kev. So now they're 8 and 9. 8 Mike Stevens, 9 Wayne Lewis, and Kev is down into 10. But something tells me that this battle is probably not over. And oh, contact between. Uh, Wayne Lewis and Mike Stevens, now they're just delaying each other. They should probably be working together because they lost a lot of time. They were three seconds behind Luda. Look at this, it's more than 10 seconds now. So now they are the three drivers that got delayed here are just making sure they lose as much time as possible by battling every corner. Look at this, Wayne Lewis has ideas. He's going to try to get Mike Stevens in the chicane, surely. And uh, this time around, is it going to work? He's on the inside, and Mike Stevens gives him space. And uh, Wayne Lewis is up into eight spots. Mike Stevens now has to contend with Kev Allen on the start-finish line. We're already on lap five. We have a quick look at the leaderboard. Everything else remains stable. And, uh, oh, and Wayne Lewis is off. Wayne Lewis is off. Wayne Lewis is off on his own and he's lost his rear wing. Replay of this is coming as Wayne probably just went a bit wide in turn one. Not really. Oh, he just lost it on his own. And look at that. He's going to lose a position also to Fred Tannett. He's 
back into 11th spot. So not the race that Wayne Lewis wanted to have so far. He's in the grass again. And uh, Mike Stevens continues to battle. Mike Stevens up into 8th spot now. But look at that. They are just losing time to Luna. And uh, he's running wide again. 10 seconds now he's got to recover uh, to get to 7th place. So let's keep an eye on that recovery. How that will get going as immediately after losing a 10th position when Lewis recovers it back from Fred Tennant. Battle of the back is two seconds between the two leaders and of lap five, lap six already we are reaching very quickly the midpoint of this race as Mark Elder continues to lead over Darren Head, we look at the grandstands full of beautiful fans of World Fox Racing PlayStation uh, uh, PC and look at that this is really not the greatest camera shot uh, let's uh, see what's happening with Simon Allen, Simon is running competitive times but he's slower than the two leaders 140 is uh, a few tenths of a second slower than the two leaders and is now 6.6 .6 seconds away fourth place man is uh, Christian Clark now Christian has been losing a bit of time so that David Good and Diogo Silva are actually getting closer to him Diogo Silva is uh, doing 141s, but David is uh, very, very fast indeed. 148.59, almost a full second faster than Christian on this last lap. And uh, Christian Clark is uh, going to have to get a bit more pace if he does not want to be threatened by Diogo, by, by David. As uh, look at that, actually, Diogo has gained a lot of time now. Is again in David's back through the 130 yard they go, but Diogo is not close enough. And another lap is in the books. That was lap six, lap seven is already uh, being taken by Mark Elder. We are at the midpoint of this race now. We'll expect 13 laps. Diogo Silva 6th, Jorge Luna is in 7th and the gap has gone down to 5 seconds because Jorge has had a problem of some sort, his lap time is going to be very slow is my expectation and that lap time is 1.44 as uh, Mike Stevens 140.4 and uh, Kev Allen losing a bit of touch with Mike and uh, of course uh, the lap time of um, when Lewis is going to be, well, it's going to be great, in fact, 140.340. He is, however, six seconds behind the um, uh, ninth place man, Kev Allen. Let's look for battles, and the closest battle is still the battle for fourth place. Although Christian Clark seems now to have two seconds over David Good. David has lost a bit of steam there. And uh, he is now can see Diogo Silva in his mirrors again. Lap 7 out of 13. The gap at the front is increasing is increasing a lot. What happened to Darren Head? Darren Head has had a problem of some sort. Did he make a mistake or, or what? Or was he just being slow in the spoon curve? Well... I think he was just being slow. We couldn't find any obvious mistake. Now, I fully expect Mike Stevens to be approaching the back of Jorge Luna very quickly. Indeed, it's three seconds, the gap as we speak. But uh, Mike is coming for Luna. Lap 7 out of 13. We'll keep an eye on the gap. The gap is coming down. Only 2 seconds now. Only 2 seconds now. As these two drivers with the same livery 
are about to start a titanic battle for 7th place and look at the gap to 6th place Diogo Silva is 16 seconds ahead of Luna so a lot of drivers that have been delayed by various incidents they are effectively out of the battle for the top 6 drivers like Mike Stevens or Wayne Lewis or Kev Allen but Luna is still vulnerable look at the gap no Luna has done a better time now 143.1 still 3 seconds uh, slower than Mike Stevens and Mike is coming very strongly indeed let's look for other battles the gap between Diogo Silva and uh, David Good has increased again almost two seconds now and so has the gap between Christian Clark and David Good between fourth and fifth so now drivers are separated by bigger gaps here in Suzuka on lap 8 but now this is the battle that's about to oh look at this Mike Stevens has made a mistake there through Dagner curve so lost a few tenths with that but nevertheless he is going to be approaching Luna's back very very shortly indeed and Kev Allen has lost time as well he's lost momentum 143.844 he's now 5 seconds behind Mike with uh, Fred Tennant and Matt Coward running in uh, 11th and 12th places. As we continue... Oh, look at this. Darren Head has made a mistake. Darren Head has made a mistake. And now he, he has not dropped any position. He has dropped... Well, he has dropped a lot of time. Uh, as he made a mistake where? In 130R. He is, uh, oh, he's clipped the curb, he's clipped the curb, and he's lost it. He avoids spinning, does he? Yes, he does. But he does not avoid losing an enormous amount of time, so that now Simon Allen is within reach. Simon Allen is within reach, so major development because Mark Elder now is even more comfortable in the lead of this race lap 9 let's look at the battle between Luna and uh, Mike Stevens which uh, well 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 Mike Stevens has lost ground now so Luna doing a good defensive drive there surely through um, making no mistakes and um, definitely holding on to that 7th uh, place something has happened to Kev where is Kev Allen? No, oh, he's still in nine. Sorry. I was getting confused here with the leaderboard. Now, the gap between second and third after that uh, mistake by Darren is one, is two seconds. So, still, Darren had with a bit of a cushion there. Let's have a look at the other drivers. Christian Clark in fourth place. Doing a good job there. Holding on to that fourth place. He's uh, out of the battle for the podium for the time being, unless Simon Allen makes a mistake. Look at that, six seconds is the gap. And the gap between Diogo Silva and David Good has been oscillating back and forth. Now we seem to have these two together, finally. As uh, we can see them both in the same frame. Well, not really. Not really is 1.5 seconds Luna doing a great job at 142 exactly the same time as Mike in this last lap almost just one tenth of a second slower than uh, Mike Stevens Kev Allen is a few seconds behind uh, this uh, battle as uh, we are now on lap 10 so three laps to go at the end of this one well, it's going to be four to go because uh, these drivers that we are seeing on our screen are still on lap nine. Let's go back to David Good and Diogo Silva. They've been together since the beginning of the race and Diogo is uh, running out of time to mount a challenge for fifth place. Christian Clark running on his own without any pressure from uh, the drivers behind him. 
is three seconds ahead of uh, David Good. And uh, look at that. Now the gap is under a second. Is it under a second? Not really, but it's closer than before. Mike Stevens trying to get that seventh spot. Uh, Wayne Lewis trying to get into ninth. Oh, look at that. Now Mike Stevens is really close. And oh, Luna makes a mistake there at the exit of the hairpin. And surely this is now an opportunity for Mike Stevens. Look at that. We have three drivers with the same lever because the, at the back of the screen there was there Kev Allen in ninth place. But Mike Stevens now is all over for Luna. This is the major battle right now on the track. Only two laps to go at the end of this one. The leader is already on lap 11. And uh, Mike Stevens is running out of time to make this move on Jorge Luna. Jorge is doing a great job there, uh, making absolutely no mistakes and putting the car exactly in the right place as to avoid Mike Stevens from having a run. They now enter lap 11. Nice exit there from the chicane by Jorge Luna. And uh, Mike Stevens continues to chase him. As, uh, oh, and something might. Oh, something has happened to Christian Clark. He's dropping down the order. He's dropping down the order. He's lost two positions to. The, oh, he's, he's been again with his friend Barry R. In the S. Oh, he's a bit offline, isn't he? Now he's going to hit. Oh, too much acceleration. He does not spin, but he's again stuck in the. Oh, and look at that pressing of the reset button almost. Getting hit by David Good. David Good is up into fourth place. Look at this. Diogo Silva is now on his tail. So Diogo could go from sixth to fourth if he manages to make a move on David Good. Mistake by Christian Clark. He's down into sixth place, but he's not going to lose it because Jorge Luna is. Uh... Oh, look at that. Now, mistake by David Good at the exit of the happen. Surely this is an opportunity for Diogo Silva to make a move. Potentially in any of the next upcoming corners, they're very close indeed. Very close indeed. Here comes Yoko Silva now. The inside doesn't quite uh, work uh, the move, but now with just a couple of laps to go, the battle for fourth place has been reignited. We are going to see through 130 yards through the chicane. If uh, Diogo can make a move, they are very close to one another. We'll keep an eye on the battle between Luna and Mike Stevens as well. As uh, these two drivers now go through the chicane. Let's look at Luna. Luna is now. Mike Stevens has made a mistake somewhere. Let's go on the onboard. He's lost time. He's lost a couple of seconds. Luna is still in seventh place. On board with Diogo Silva now. Only a couple of laps left here. And uh, David Good is feeling the pressure. He's already made a couple of small mistakes through turn one. Fortunately, Diogo was a bit uh, too far behind to make uh, a realistic move. Gap at the front is 4.5 seconds. Mark Elder is going to do a clean sweep of this round. He's only a couple of laps from doing so. Then Red in second place. Third is uh, uh, Simon Allen. Simon doing a great job, making no mistakes whatsoever. Very quick times, 140.8. 18 is certainly quicker than these two drivers as they start to battle. They tend to lose time. Look at this 143 for um, David, 142.6 for Diogo. Of course, they also had to avoid the stationary car of Christian Clark. And now Diogo is going to try to have another run. Uh, and, and Luna has lost the position. Luna has lost the position. We are going to have to see a replay of that. That was probably a mistake. Yes, it was in Degner curve. He's a bit offline and he is going to lose time there. And there goes Mike Stevens up into seventh. And uh, let's watch these two again through this fast section because Diogo just needs a good exit here and he seems to have got the good exit. So now watch out because David Good probably will have to defend. As uh, oh, David Good is off. David Good is off. Mark Elder, actually, it's only 12 laps again. I messed up the lap count. I do apologize. 
profusely for this, but Mark Elder has won the race again. Darren had second, and uh, look at this, David Goods is uh, lost it. And uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, the David Good lost it in the last corner almost. And he loses the position to Diogo Silva, also to Christian Clark. Diogo Silva is going to be fourth place. Nicely done by Diogo in the last few laps, recovering two places. Fifth is going to be Christian Clark. Sixth is a disappointed David Good. And does he keep the position? Yes, he does, because Mike Stevens is still coming through the chicane in seventh place. Eight is Jorge Lund again running wide there. It doesn't matter now because he's got four seconds ahead of ninth place man. Uh, that is uh, Kev Allen. Tenth is going to be uh, Wayne Lewis. And eleventh is going to be... Eleventh um, is going to be Fred Tennant. who will follow him for a few corners. And Matt Coward. He is... Uh, well, he went a lap down, I believe. He went a lap down just in the last few corners he went the lap down to leader mark elder race winner in race one and race two what a weekend for mark elder he also retains the championship lead as we see fred Tennant now slowing down very much in the last corner he's running on his own in 11th place so now he can go at any pace that he wants and uh, he is going to cross the line. And with that, we finish the coverage of round four of Old Force Racing PC Summer 2022 season. It has been a very interesting race indeed. And we shall see you in round five, always at the Liberated Channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.